And wrapping up his two day visit to Russia on Thursday, President Moon Jae in proposed a new look north for development economic policy for North Korea. Now, the move is seen as a bid to win the heart of the Russian leader, so Putin will join Seoul's efforts to rein in Pyongyang's weapons program. Moon Gan Yang reports from Vladivostok. The Eastern Economic Forum here in Russia's port city of Vladivostok is aimed at fostering development in the Far East. It's Russian President Vladimir Putin's Look East policy. Now that, South Korean President Moon Jae-in believes, is in perfect line with his Look North for Development policy. The new South Korean President's debut at the Eastern Economic Forum. Delivering a keynote speech, President Moon rolls out his new Look North for Economic Development policy. He laid out various areas of cooperation between the two countries, such as 15 LNG fueled Russian icebreakers being built at South Korean shipyards and boosting South Korea's role in development projects of Russia's abundant natural energy resources. But at the very core of Mr. Moon's big vision goes beyond economic cooperation and beyond Russia. South Korea's president believes partnership in Northeast Asia could bring about a greater change and lead to peace and prosperity in this region, yes, including North Korea. 또한 나는 동북아 국가들이 협력하여 극동 개발을 성공시키는 일 또한 북핵 문제를 해결하는 또 하나의 근원적인 해법이라고 생각합니다. 북한도 이에 참여하는 것이 이익임을 깨닫게 될 것입니다. 핵 없이도 평화롭게 번영할 수 있는 길임을 알게 될 것입니다. The South Korean president's vision entertained here at the Eastern Economic Forum is an ambitious one, could even be promising. But considering the nature of tensions here in Northeast Asia and the many parties of interest involved, it ain't going to come easily. President Moon continues to seek for global support. His next stage will be the UN General Assembly in two weeks' time. Moon Gonyong, Arirang News, Vladivostok.